Hello debutantes, I have a super quick thrift store haul for you today. Um, I woke up early on Sunday and my house was empty. Um, so instead of getting dressed and going to church, I decided to go thrifting. So I just have a few cute things I wanna show you. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna show you is this cute little black dress. It is like a, not really silk, but kind of that type of rayon type fabric. It's a cute little black dress with gold buttons. It has a little tie elastic waist. The elastic is blown out a little bit on the other side, but I'm sure that I can fix that. And it goes to just above my knee. So it's a cute little throw on, run to the grocery store type of look. I'm really trying to dress a little bit more casually elegant every day. Um, you know, jeans and t-shirts and shorts are nice, but I just wanna look I don't know, a little nicer in my everyday. And so that brings me to our next item, which is this 100% silk blouse. Um, when we were down, I'm gonna hang that back up because now you can see the glare from the window. Hold on. Okay, when we were down on Palm Beach, I saw this woman and she had like skinny jeans on and cute little leather flats and a top that was this color and kind of similar and she had her hair pulled back in a bun and she just looked so, elegant and of course when you have more money than God it's a whole lot easier to look casually elegant um, I'm gonna have to work out a little harder so I did pick up this 100% silk blouse it's very pretty it looks good um, half tucked in I, I luckily had jeans on when I got it so I styled it in several different ways I was able to pick this up for two dollars because it is missing a button but I will take the button off of the neck because there's no way in hell I will ever button a shirt up all the way to my neck and just add it to that. So for two bucks, I got a beautiful silk blouse. So then we're gonna go down on the floor. The lighting is better in here. I picked up this 100% cashmere J. Jill sweater. Um, I actually purchased this sweater to make a pillow for my daughter. I think she's going to be using this color when she redecorates. Um, it's a little pilled, I don't know if you can see it. And um, I just thought it would make the prettiest, softest pillow, even if she just puts it in her office. And I think I paid $3.99 for 100% cashmere. Then I was able to pick up another 100% cashmere scarf, and this was $1.69. The color, it's like a pale, pinky coral color. Um, not really super pink, but not really orange. And I really like that for $1.69. The next thing I picked up with this was this red skirt. It's like a knit fabric. Um, it's a size 18, 20, but the reason that I purchased it was I just thought it would make the prettiest pillows for Christmas, even whether it's the back of a pillow or something. I know I will be able to do something with this and it's got lots and lots of fabric and it's really more of a deep cardinal red. It's coming off a little orangey red on camera. So that was the next thing I purchased. Then I bought this cute sweater and I also got this sweater half off because it has a little stain. I am planning on using this to make pillows. I love this little cable treatment right in the middle and it has these super cute sleeves with this green um, cuff. So I thought I would use that you know, as a candle sleeve. Um, so I figured for $2, I could probably get quite a bit of uses out of that sweater. The next thing I bought were these adorable Nautica pajama pants. I wear pajama pants every night to bed and I don't want to spend a lot of money but these are Nautica and I just love this little scallop detail on the the ends of the legs. It's just super cute. Makes it look a little less sloppy when you're lounging around in pajama pants. I purchased this adorable little vase. It has the flower frog on top and it's clear glass. I actually purchased the same exact one, well not exact because it's like a blue green color, at a garage sale and Maureen has that one so I picked this one up for two bucks. Then I found this adorable uh, quirky keep cables on the table brand new in the box for $2.69. Whenever I'm trying to charge my iPad and my phone my cords are always sliding back so this will hold them. It's got a good weight to it so it just sits on your desk and holds your cords so you don't lose them. And then my best find of the day is this long gun case. Um, it's for rifles, it's for shotguns, it's for assault weapons. And it's made by Redhead, which is a very good name in um, hunting circles, I guess. And I think it's brand new. And it has all of these pockets for extra mags, for extra ammo. And it was $6. 
I'm pretty sure it was brand new. My son said it's probably a $60 case retail. Um, so he's very excited because obviously that is for him. He is a big gun enthusiast. And if you've watched my channel, you know that we are staunch supporters of the Second Amendment. But anyway, we digress. So this is everything I purchased at the thrift store. I did go to three different Goodwills. I only purchased at two, and I think I spent a total of $36. So debutantes, I hope you enjoyed my very quick Goodwill haul. Um, hopefully I will be able to get to some of these projects and show them to you in some Vlogaday's videos. Um, Tony's injury kind of set us back, but we're trucking on along. So I just really appreciate everyone who watches my videos, who comments. Um, please subscribe if you have not and leave your comments because I just really enjoy reading them and getting to know several of you. Um, I sometimes feel like my friends on YouTube know me better than my friends in real life. So anyway, please thumbs up this video if you liked it and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.